Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. We have 4 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x equal to 6. Okay, by looking at this problem, at least 90% will be able to tell the value of x. But then, more than 50% will not be able to solve this. So, let's provide a solution to this problem showing all the steps. Okay, from here, 4 is 2 to the power of 2. Then, x will still come. Then, plus 2 to the power of x equal to 6. Now, what do I do from here? I can turn this around to 2 to the power of x squared plus 2 to the power of x equal to 6. From here, what do you observe? You will see that we have the same thing here. So let a letter represent 2 to the power of x. So I will say, um, what do I use? Let me use y to be equal to 2 to the power of x. Now, in place of 2 to the power of x, I'll write y the square on it will appear, then plus here again, we are going to have y, right? And then this is equal to 6. Now, this is now a quadratic equation, and we can solve this as I bring this to the left hand side. So y squared plus y minus 6 is equal to zero now we'll be thinking how do we deal with this can we use factorization method for this let's try if you're going to use factorization method remember two numbers we multiply to get minus six and we put them together or we add them to get one so the number will be three and um, minus two because 3 minus 2 will give 1, and 3 times minus 2 will give minus 6, right? So, in that case, to factorize this, it means that we will be having y plus 3, right? Okay, as one of the factors. And then the next factor will be y minus 2. And this is equal to 0, right? Okay, now what do I do from here? We apply zero product rule. And with the zero product rule, it is either y plus 3 is equal to 0 or y minus 2 is equal to 0. From here, y will be equal to 0 minus 3 or y will be equal to 0 plus 2, right? Okay, so y from here will be equal to 3 minus 3 rather, or on this side, y will be equal to 2. So from here, okay, so <clears throat> y from here is equal to minus 3 or 2 but then you will see it that y itself is equal to 2 to the power of x right so that means 2 to the power of x is equal to minus 3 but then what can you do i mean what value of x will give you negative 3 there's no value of x that will give you negative 3. So this means that this value here will be rejected, right? Okay, so the value will be rejected. Okay, so this is rejected. Then the second value of y, where we have y to be equal to 2. And now y itself is 2 to the power of x being equal to 2 
Now, what do you observe? You will see that from here, 2 can also have power of 1. Then, if the bases are the same, you work with the powers. So, our 2, okay, we are working with the power, so meaning that x will be equal to 1. Then, if you go back to the original equation where we had 4 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x equal to 6. Now, if you put in um, 1 into the equation, you have 4 to power 1, which is 4, plus 2 to power 1, which is 2, and it will give us 6. So, we are correct to say that um, our x is equal to 1. Thank you for watching.